How you doing everyone? Welcome back to Air Rider. We are hitting the road again in a new season and we're headed to a fantastic site called Dam Patrick Head. It's on the uh, north northwest coastline um, of Ireland in the county of Mayo. So what we plan to see there, we're going to see the sea stack. Um, I'll tell you a bit of a, a few tales about it. We're also going to have a look at a blowhole which is on the same site as well. And of course I'm going to show you some of the fantastic roads that we're going to see and uh, we'll also go through a couple of towns on the way so i hope you enjoy the video don't forget don't forget to give it a, a like leave a comment down below i'd love to hear from you guys um, if you're enjoying these kinds of videos and of course i'll uh, update you as we go along here so we're going to start off with this one and then we'll move on to another location in a separate video so here we go enjoy Thanks very much for watching. But today is a great video. We're going to be having a look at a place called Down Patrick Head in County Mayo. And um, I've never been there before. Really looking forward to it. We're in we're in uh, the biggest town in County Mayo at the moment called Ballinar. And I'm just busy riding through at the moment. We're not going to stop here. We're going straight through. Well, we're just uh, getting out of Ballinar at the moment. This is the residential area. Um, it's interesting, it said it wasn't going to rain, it said it was cloudy, but I'm a bit concerned because I didn't really bring any uh, waterproof gear other than my uh, bike gear that I'm currently wearing, but it is water resistant to a degree, so hopefully it doesn't rain. Well, we're just coming into a small town here, um, not sure what the name was, but it's old enough. Wow, we're coming up to a really nice bridge here. tell me have you ever wanted to go to down patrick head uh, drop a comment down below is there a place you'd like to as a place you've heard of but uh to kind of kind of let me know but we're really not that far away i don't know if you checked out my first season i went along the sligo coastline and uh, it was beautiful and uh, it's our first trip into Mayo here now but um, no, decent rocky shoreline that's our car park area that we're going to so and then we're going to take a walk up to the head there how you doing everyone yeah we just made it here to down patrick head just at the car park so we're going to take a wander up now and we'll take a good look and see what's the story uh awesome view around here anyway very very windy though Chat to a couple of fishermen there. Apparently they were up here since about four o'clock. We've got a whole load of mackerel. Anyway, let's uh, get going. Fair amount of people around at the moment. Very windy. I'm sure my hair looks great on the video. But uh, yeah, geez, it's been a while, man. I think uh, I think it's been um, it was August, September last year. Here we are, about six months later. Anyways. Not quite at the top yet, but that's our view here. A viewing platform here by the looks of it, and there's one of the blowholes. There's a really big blowhole here. Have a look at that. That looks like that's been perfectly carved out. Wow. That. It's like it's been perfectly cut. What do you think? You want to head down there? I bet you it's not that deep. Have a look at that. We're just by the blow hole. We're just by the blowhole here, and uh, we're going to head around uh, up to the top. There, we're going to have a look at the uh, at the head there. Right, that's what we've come to come and have a look at. Is uh, I think it's pronounced Dun, Dun, uh, Dun Brista. And the tale goes that uh, there was a very cruel man that uh, apparently when this whole area was connected to the mainland that uh, that lived um, on it. And uh, St. Patrick tried to make the guy a better man, uh, but sadly it didn't work. 
So what he did was he hit the ground with his crozier. So as another word could be staff. And this whole section of land broke away and left him on that little island there. And uh, the guy starved to death uh, and obviously died. Um, but an interesting tale. Another tale is that uh, there was a chieftain that uh, St. Patrick tried to convert to Christianity. He refused, same sort of thing. Hit uh, the ground with his staff, broke away. But the chieftain was left abandoned on that little island there. I don't know, what would you think? Do you think you'd be able to jump there? Like if you got stuck up there, you'd be able to jump down and uh, land safely in the water. I suppose, what are your choices? You try and scale down that? I think you'd probably be in a worse, probably be in a worse state. Right, we're gonna have a look at the stack on this side. <laughs> How's that? There's nobody around in this section. They're all up they're all up at the top, but that looks fantastic. Little beautiful little uh, little spot this. I think that's the area we're headed to next along that sort of section there. turning into a nice day. It's not as windy as I thought. I thought it'd be really, really windy, but got the drone up there. Really pleased about that. Might need to stop for a water break there just before we head off and we head to our next destination. Right. Just behind me here is, uh, is an old ruin and there's a statue there that was built in 1993 of St. Patrick. Let's go take a look. It used to be an old house. Um, I'm not sure on the on the date, but uh, sermons were actually held up here. Um, just pretty thick walls. Look at that. Anyway, time to head back. That brings the video to an end, so we're going to end off with some drone shots of uh, the of the area. I really hope you en you've enjoyed this video, you've found it informative. I suppose, will you be heading out here now that you've seen this video? Is it is Down Patrick Head a location you've always wanted to go to? Um, I've hopefully I've given you some insight. I've definitely enjoyed my time here, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of County Mayo. So, thanks so much, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. The man you can see behind me here is St. Patrick himself. Obviously a statue, but not a real person. <laughs> um, this used to be an old ruin as well, apparently. Obviously it looks like an old ruin. This section doesn't seem to make any sense.